make it rain. And I'm not talking about rain, I'm talking about Takis. There is a lot of bags in here, actually. Today we are going to be making the world's biggest Taki. And these are really spicy, so it's about to be super spicy and hopefully super good. Let's begin. All right, so as you can see here, we have all of these bags of Takis. It's Takis, right? It's not Takis. We're going to make a giant Takis. This bowl might be a little bit too small. I need to crunch up all of these bags of Takis and we're gonna get creative with it. Just a little bit creative. But first I have to extract all the Takis. Oh my God. These are really good. Delicious. All right, you guys ready? One, two, three, it's gonna be magic. Whoa, how did that happen so quickly? That is insane. Let's take a look at some of the Taki degenerates that I have unbagged. So we have this weird Taki. We have that weird Taki. It kind of looks like a Dorito. And then we have some burnt ones and that. Like, I don't, I've never seen a burnt Taki before. And, you know, this is actually good that we found this degenerate because it actually looks like it's in a triangle shape. If that wasn't folded over, the Taki definitely is in a triangle shape. So that's what we have to make our giant Taki in that shape. We need to replicate this. Cameraman, <laughs> I dare you to eat this burnt Taki. Three, two, one. Mmm. Ugh. Ugh. What does it taste like? Gross, it tastes burnt. I'm gonna try this one. It actually wasn't bad, it has a slight, slight roast. <laughs> That's terrible. That was the most terrible taki I've ever tried. It literally tasted like uh, the burnt parts of when you, when, when you're grilling on a barbecue and you have like all that burnt stuff at the bottom, that's what I just ate. All right, now it's time to crunch up all of these Takis together and make it into Taki powder. I'm gonna do that by putting it in this big bag. Okay, so I'm just going to tie this in like a knot. I have some kombucha right here. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this before. Some people love it, some people hate it. Oh my gosh, this bag's gonna rip so fast. Just carefully crunch it. I'm making tiny holes everywhere. All right, now. Ow, 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 ow. We have an escape Taki. Get back in there. Ow. <laughs> mm, there has to be a better way to do this. I'm phase two here. I'm still using the bag. If you actually had an iron, you could use an iron. Okay, so these are non-scented garbage bag. There's no toxic chemicals or anything in there. They're gonna bleed out, so we're gonna put it in here. Because the bag is too cheap. It's too cheap, it's ripped. Oh. So, we're gonna take this into other hands. Here we go. It's called Beat the Bag. All right. And we get, oh! Ah, oh, the Takis uh, are making more holes. These things are too sharp. These are sharp. We need a meat tenderizer, but we're not, we don't eat meat, so we don't have a tenderizer. Back in the day, your mother used to chase you around the house with this, if you acted up. I don't know about nowadays, but. the drums on Takis. Water came out of it. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. Go as fast as you can, that's not fast. That's fast. No, that's not. <laughs> How fast can you do it? Three, two, one, go. Longer, that wasn't the bad. Keep going. You said fast. We are definitely eating plastic. Look at that. Look at the bag. <laughs> well, the results are in. It's pretty good. We just have a couple. Dude, look at that. It worked. All right, we are done. Let's pour 
the Taki into the bowl. Is that the Kool-Aid man in the background? Oh yeah. So all of the Takis that didn't end up getting totally crushed, we'll crush them now. Mayday, Mayday, something just happened. Houston, we have a problem. Well, the thing is, sometimes when you beat your Taki too hard, this happens. What the heck happened? Uh, Are we gonna be in wood? Bamboo. Oh, you have one. bamboo teeth. Find it. Find the, the part that broke off. I can't. Just find it. it. Look, it looks like colored bamboo. You have to find it. Look, that looks like bamboo. It's gonna be so hard. All right. All right, after beating the Taki for so long, oh my God, right here. I definitely just think that I, I gained an inch on each bicep. Looks pretty good. Ooh. Now we're gonna be adding some cornstarch to this. There may or may not be slime all over this. I would say that's probably good, and then we'll stir this up. I also wanna mention that out of the spoon that broke, we only found these two pieces, so I'm pretty sure there's other parts of the spoon that are in here. We're gonna mix all the cornstarch together into the take. Oh my God, it's gonna be huge! Now we're gonna add some water. All right, putting some water in, and my hands are clean. They just are kind of red from Taki powder. Just gonna mix that up together. All right, we're moving on to the mixer. We're gonna let the mixer do the work. Something smells like it's burning. This smells super good. I kind of want to make a Taki pizza. Look, it's mm. kind of turning into like a dough already. It's kind of similar to a bath bomb. You don't want to add too much water, then it's gonna get all gross. All right, added a little flour, added a little bit of water, and here we have a dough consistency. Yes! This pan is way too small. I'm not gonna use it. I'm literally gonna use the oven rack down here. I put some tin foil on it, and we're just gonna oven rack it up. I've never done this before. I don't even know if this is how you cook stuff. I'm not that domesticated. Are you a cook? No. Oh. It smells so good. Like bamboo wood chips? No. Okay, so I needed to make sure that this consistency was able to hold a form because the Taki is like rolled over and it's like a cone shape. So it can't just be like one giant just flat chip. It needs to be rolled together. Well guys, my wife cooks for me sometimes, but this is the most she's ever got her hands dirty. Look at this. Woo! I'm gonna get a giant Taki. That's what, not, is that what for supper? Who said this is for you? Oh. <laughs> All right, now we need to get a rolling pin and roll it out flat. No, 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 don't eat, don't eat my Taki. No, no. Okay, you guys, so it's, it's doughy, but it's not exactly how I want it. It's not gonna be able to stick together. So, stop. That's not good for you. It's spicy. What kind of cat likes Taki? Go away. Jay's getting a rolling pin and before he comes back, I'm just gonna add this barbecue sauce on top of this because I think that'll help hold, stop eating that. <laughs> you already know. I think that'll hold its shape a little bit better. That is better, see? Yes, oh my gosh, I'm so smart. I'm a genius. Don't even look at my Taki, get out of here. There's an idea swirling around in my head and you're, gonna, you're just gonna watch and then we're gonna see the end result. Nice rolling pin. It's uh, very versatile. So that's gonna be one giant hockey. Oh my God. Look at this, dude. Look at this masterpiece. Oh, this looks awesome. Okay, now I need to cut it with something. So we need to cut it into hockey. Size thing. Taki shape. Very focused and she's a professional Taki maker as you can see. Now I'm a professional Taki maker. All right, now we're going to roll the Taki up in this parchment paper and then put it on the oven rack and cook it. Fingers crossed this doesn't break. It's gonna be like one giant like, it, Taki is like rolled like with a lot of air in the middle. This one's not gonna have the air. 
gonna be a burrito. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. I need to pick it up. Shut up, look at that. Open up the safe. I don't ask me how long that's supposed to go in the oven for. I have no idea. All right, Jay, clean up the kitchen. Thank you. The chef is done. All right, guys, it is the next day. I had to let my Taki sit overnight and cool down because it just came out of the oven. It was so hot. Here it is. Check it out. Wow, that looks like a giant Taki. We're going to have to try and remove. Oh, my God. What's it going to look like? Oh, my God. Whoa. <gasps> that looks so awesome. Oh my god, okay, sorry, I'm dying over here. Carefully remove the paper. Oh, oh my god, and it's pretty hard. So this is what a normal size Taki Taki looks like, right? And this is what my huge, enormous Taki looks like. Oh my god, look at the difference though. <laughs> oh jeez. I wonder how many Takis you could fit inside of this giant Taki. How many do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I mean like, look at that. Ew, it's so cute. So this thing is pretty fragile and I don't think that I could pick it up. All right, I'm gonna give it a taste, so let's try it. Oh my god. What? That tastes so good. I think that tastes better than a Taki. And there's a slight hint of barbecue in there as well. All right, I'm gonna try a regular Taki. I think this tastes better. Wow. <laughs> it's not that visually appealing, but it actually tastes so good. All right, you guys, so I'm curious. I wanna cut it open and I wanna see what the center looks like. All right, we're gonna cut this. Jeez, it's not even cutting. All right, we've 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 upgraded our knives to the bread knife. See, the bread knife is gonna make it fall apart. Right, uh, yeah. Oh! Oh my God, look at that. Imagine if we put frosting in there and like make a legitimate talky birthday cake. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. All right. Oh my God, that was so good. All right, you guys, so this is my giant talky. I'm definitely gonna be finishing this. It was so good. What do you guys want me to make giant next time? Like a giant gummy bear or maybe a giant chair? Let me know down there in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!